Hello, hello YouTube. My name is Braden Gerard, and welcome to another one of my Shopify liquid tutorials. Today, we're going to take a look at theme tags and what you can do with these specific Shopify tags inside of your liquid templates. <laughs> These tags do things such as allowing you to put comments into your templates. They allow you to show raw HTML in the page or liquid code in the page. They allow you to take sections of code from either snippets or layouts and insert those into your templates so that you can reuse your code and really get deep into the core of what the liquid templating language is capable of reducing redundancy, reusing components, headers, footers, things like that. So let's jump into the code and take a look. Okay, we're gonna look at theme tags in Liquid. So there are a whole bunch of different theme tags that you can use. These are tags specifically created for Shopify theming. And the first one that we're gonna look at is the comment tag. So using our tag syntax and we write comment and then close that. We can write whatever we want inside of here. Hello, my name is Braden. And this is not going to get shown in our page, okay? So this is a comment only shown in the liquid code, but it will not be shown in the page. So if I refresh here, we don't see it in the page. If I inspect the page, okay, and even go into my dev tools here, and I go all the way into this section here, so we have our main page width grid inside our grid this right rte here this is our div rte you'll see there's nothing inside of that div okay this is not the same as using an html comment where i say hello my name is bob um, you're going to see that comment inside of the code okay sorry that's not an html comment that's a javascript comment <laughs> let me give you an html an html comment um, that's why you're seeing it here because I'm not using the proper con comments for HTML. Um, but if I do an HTML comment, okay, you don't see it in the actual page um, from, from a front end, but if you were to inspect the page and go in, you would see my comment in the HTML code, okay? Where you use a liquid comment, you actually don't see it in the code at all because the Shopify compiler removes that comment from the code before it actually compiles it into just plain HTML, okay? so. That is something that is interesting to know about liquid comment tags, and you can use them wherever you need to document your code for developers to see, but it will never show up in the end product. Okay, and another type of basic tag that you can use for theming is the raw tag. So we could say raw, and then between the raw tag, we could write some liquid code. So let's say um, assign, name equal to Braden. Okay, and close that and then we'll do the end raw. Don't need a space there and there. And if I save this, you're gonna see that my liquid code actually gets output in the page. Okay, so what raw does is it completely ignores any liquid markup and it just outputs it as raw HTML. Okay, so that can be useful for when you want to make sure that the code that's going into the page is not, uh, is not um, going to create something on the page that you don't want there. So if someone were to try and inject, say, some liquid HTML into your site, it wouldn't actually work. It would just show it as, vis as vis it would just show it visually in the page and not actually affect the page. So if you ever have user input content, you probably want to surround that content in a raw tag just to make sure that they're not gonna be injecting stuff into your page and changing the look and feel of your web page. Now, another theme tag that you can use is the style tag. Okay, so we could say style. And inside of that, you can just write CSS. Okay, so I could say um, dot, I don't know, name tag, And let's just say the name tag has the background color of blue. Okay, and then we will end our style. Okay, and I don't know, let's give this 
an H1. We'll call it Braden. Close my H1, and then we'll give my H1 a class equal to name tag. And if I save that, you'll see it creates my name here, but with a blue background because we have this CSS in the page. Okay, so style allows you to write CSS inside of your HTML. Okay, and finally, we have theme tags that allow you to add parts of HTML or liquid code into your page. Okay, so every Shopify site is broken down into templates, which is what we're working in right now. Uh, layouts, which wrap those templates into a certain look and feel. Uh, the sections, which are areas on the page that you can drop in. And then snippets, which are little tiny pieces of code that we want to drop into the page and, and something that we might use over and over in different parts of our site. So we don't want to duplicate that code. All of these different components, sections, snippets, layouts, and templates are made in a way such that we can reuse our liquid code and we're not constantly writing the same HTML markup or liquid markup over and over. So using the theme tags for these, we can insert them into this page. So for layouts, we can use the layout theme tag. So we say layout and then we put a string of the name of the layout that we want to use. So in this case, let's say gift card layout. Okay, so currently we're using the default theme layout, right? This is what this page looks like. Now, if I change this to gift card, you're gonna see this page changes quite a bit. It gets rid of the header and the footer, and it makes it more like a, a page that you would use for a gift card. Okay, I just get my page title up here, and that's about it. Now, if I wanted to then, instead into my template, I wanted to add in a section, so just a small part of the page, I could do that. I would use the section theme tag. And uh, let's say we want to add in, I don't know, let's add in a footer. So if I add in the footer section, you're going to see that I get a footer in the middle of my page. So this footer here is now appearing in the middle of my page inside of this div because I'm inserting that HTML for the footer uh, or the liquid code for that footer into the page. And finally, we can use the render theme tag. So render will allow us to add our snippets. So any of these snippets of liquid code we can add into the page. So let's go, I don't know, icon YouTube. So the YouTube icon here, yeah, icon YouTube. So let's add in icon dash YouTube. And if we save that, we'll see that we get our little YouTube icon here, okay? So those three tags are extremely powerful because they allow you to build up entire pages by reusing Liquid and HTML from other areas of the Shopify store. And this is really how Shopify themes are built. They're built in such a way that stuff can be reused and inserted into the page wherever needed. I hope that helped. And that is all that we're gonna look at today for theme tags. Again, there are additional tags which you can look into if you want for very specific use cases. And those are on the Shopify developer website. Thanks for tuning in to another one of my Shopify Liquid tutorial videos. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you learn a little bit more about Shopify Liquid templating, then feel free to leave a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna catch more of our Shopify Liquid tutorial videos and future development tutorial videos that we're gonna be doing here. Thanks, have a great day.